Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV with me, Get Daved. Last time we started Chapter 5 and it was fantastic. Um, I'm joining... you're joining me in mid-battle just because I wanted to show uh, two things to kick things off. First off, this is a bubble slime. I don't think... I don't remember encountering one until now. Second, if you were watching really closely, you may have noticed I only input commands for the hero. Um, because now we're in Chapter 5, and Chapter 5 is awesome. Stump Chumps. These guys are really dangerous to you. We maybe didn't encounter them either. Um, if you run into them just with the hero, this encounter would be extremely dangerous, because they can use medicinal herbs on themselves or on each other pretty much infinitely. And that can cause you problems. Alright. The other thing is, we only needed to put in commands for the hero because we're using the tactics mode in the game, uh, which is opened up in Chapter 5. In the original game, you had to use one tactic, uh, and you could only assign them to the party. So, these are just generalized commands you can give. Follow orders means you're going to input manual commands for everybody with that tactic set. You can set them on an individual level as well. Um, show no mercy means they will use all of their firepower, all their biggest damage dealers, pretty much regardless of situation. I think if they see an enemy's weak they might throttle it back just to be a bit more efficient, but they'll blast through their MP in no time. Fight wisely is a bit more nuanced than the unconditional offense. Watch my back. Um, you know what? I kind of forget what this is. They replace the tryout command in the original, where they would do weird things. I believe they try buffing you. Don't use magic is exactly what it sounds like. Focus on healing. Um, some called defensive in the original. They'll just try uh, healing. A couple of them can be even more advantageous than constant manual input. Recall there was a desert tornado crossed? Hello? Um, so let's say you're fighting a boss who's very fast and might have a devastating attack. If you're on manual and you have a healer, wow, packed lunch as far as the eye can see. 15 gold coins? We may have to continue this conversation in a minute. We've got a hard nut. I can name every kind of nut there is. Pine nut. Macadamia nut. Ah, I'm fine for now, thank you. Actually... Yeah, I'm fine for now. Make sure the hero's got full... HP. Hank Hoffman Jr. Wow. Hank Hoffman, what happened? Nope. One of the treasure for himself. Makes me mad just talking about it. Alright, so Hank Hoffman Jr. was betrayed going treasure hunting. Well, maybe if we got him the treasure. Alright, I'm going to backtrack to our conversation about hypothetical boss fights. So if the boss had a super huge attack... Oh, winkies. These guys can be dangerous. We fought one in Chapter 1, but... Uh, so if the boss attacks, you don't know who he's going to hit or if he's going to do a ton of damage. If you think that your healer will act after him, putting them on defensive is sometimes better because they'll know at that point they'll make the decision who to heal and which spell to use. So 
Yeah. Don't go thinking that this is a feature just for chumps. You can't defend forever, Winky. Alright, now I kind of want to grind one more level, which I'll do on camera because there's a ton of enemies we haven't encountered yet. Oh, you're toast. That and the fights are so bloody quick. You can skip ahead one minute, but I mean, I only want to get the hero to level 6. Armored Scorpion's always a little dangerous. Note the AI figuring out that we need to switch our tactics a bit. Wakey wakey. Really good HP increase there. Okay, I was wondering if uh, he would learn mid-heal. That might be a level 8 spell. Well, if that were a metal slime, the issue would be moot. Alright. Now, I do recommend you get the hero at... Om nom nom. Recommend you get the hero fully healed going into here. And then start smashing the place apart. So we're here to find out what this super treasure was. Alright, they're probably down here. And we need their strength to open it. Chase him down. What? You may remember these from Chapter 4. They're kind of dangerous. However, the hero has awesome defense. I wonder if they have their attack power nerfed, though. They should still be able to do more than one damage. Alright, looks like they're in trouble. Time to help. Oh no. Happened again. Alright. I'm gonna start with the Trixies. Partly because I did. Oh my. Iron Shield helping with that. Alright, we didn't get hit by that guy with its mustard strength, which is nice. Yeah, the Trixies, if you don't get the Armora um, going or leading up to this point, they can tear you apart. Playing this as a boy, I didn't think to leave the equipment for myself in Chapter 3. Yay, mid-heal! This fight really is to get the hero leveled up, by the way. And mid is super powerful, which is nice. Restores 75 to 100 hit points. Alright. Let's kill them. <laughs> it is a yes or no question. No, that was you, Maya. Happened to me, too. So the moral of the story was to trust one another. Door open. Interesting little emulator glitch on the top screen there. So maybe Hank Hoffman Jr. wasn't actually stabbed in the back by his friend.
Well, I enjoy knocking down the walls. In the NES version, I would argue it was even more fun. You should play through the first 10 hours of the game to test that statement. Oh yeah, we've got Get Daved in the front again. Uh, having the hero up front now. Uh, gotta catch them all! Another OCD moment there. Whoa. That ain't right. It's close enough to put Get Daved in front, but Mina is definitely ahead of Maya. Maya does actually have quite a few hit points, especially for a mage character. Actually, she has a ton of MP as well. That's an area of strength for her, but she does not have the defense stat to back it up, so no tanking for her. Jinxter is potentially dangerous. Potentially dead. Also, that was really good money. 131 for just one fight with nobody. Alright, now that we've got the symbol of faith, we're oh, good, these guys. out of MP, so I'll probably stay at the end first. <laughs> After we do some laps, just to make sure the cardio is uh, going. Yeah, I love it. And yes, I intentionally stayed before I did anything else here. That's, that saved me six gold coins. cave. Honeyfuggle, do you mind the sailor talk, sir? Well... Yeah, sure. Alright, we are trying to save the world. Hank Hoffman Jr. and his favorite horse. Called Primrose in the original. It's Mary Lou in this one. Kind of like Mary Lou. All right. Okay. Get up, girl. Now across the desert. With the caravan, with the wagon, we can now have extra party members in and out of the party. Now there's only the four of us right now. Hank Hoffman's kind of an interesting character. He's also in the class of uncontrollable or uncontrolled characters, kind of like Healy and the employees of Tornaco from Chapter 3. He's not technically one of the chosen ones, which also means you can't put him first in the party. Um, yeah, I'm still going to put Mina ahead of him. Maya's in last, even though, as mentioned, she does have quite a few hit points. Also, there's kind of a big spike in enemy difficulty here, so... Yeah, these guys aren't that tough, but just trust me. Also, the Crested Vipers do have sap, so they can cause you all sorts of trouble. I'm just going to walk a little bit this way to get the map built up. Really? No, I'm sure things are going to go much better for you this time. Okay. Maybe I should stop being such a smartass.
Boom. Yep. So everyone has zero defense, I think. It wears off at the end of the fight. Okay. Cartography assignment almost finished. Oh my goodness. Emulation error. I could cast Frizz. Alright, I'm gonna trust the AI here. Oh my goodness. I don't think they could do that in the original. Restless armors are already kinda tough. Mina will heal if she needs to. There we go. Bang. A lot of spells don't actually work that well on the slime family, so... Alright. Oh. Hard-fought victory. For the record, the AI does learn from its mistakes, so I don't think Mina will try that again. Or maybe they identified they had bad luck. What do I know? Or gold coins. The hero learns uh, a lot of really good spells, and then a decent number of uh, low-end ones, and not a ton in the mid-range, just so you know. Unless you consider Zap a mid-range spell, but I think it's a little too good for that. Alright, that desert crossing kind of got a bit harder than I was expecting. Alright, it's kind of a fun little town. Town of Baths! You know, I could go for that. Uh, sure. Are you going to walk that slow the whole time? <laughs> okay. I'm not a huge souvenir guy. Bladud. Rufus, or Ruvus in the original. The town's greatest treasure. Barf's barf? Well, that would have fly. <laughs> that would have been a great hit in grade 7, you know? Wow. Oh, he's trying to say bath's bath. And all of that was an extended commercial for the inn. You can stay here, it's a little bit more expensive. There's another inn that's cheaper. So I guess it just depends if you like to treat yourself. Ten get dick points for that reference. Um, hmm. Interesting theory. Why are you peeping behind the bushes? 
It's not that far. Ooh! Mini metal. I believe that's actually number... No, that's number one. Okay. There is a way to get a mini metal in one of the earlier chapters, I think. Some good work, son. Ooh, a seat of strength. Don't mind if I do. I have a... Oh, I have a seat of life, too. And a ton of... Uh, Technically, it's safer to carry, um... He was knocked out cold. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, it's probably a good idea to carry some medicinal herbs on your characters so you can use them in battle, but, uh... It's faster not to. It's amazing. That's not what the pros think, kid. Little twerp. Let's see what they've got. The Iron Fan. There isn't really a single good reason to buy the Iron Fan. It's like the Poison Moth Knife. I think only Maya can use it. It's a little weaker, and it doesn't uh, paralyze enemies, so... I'm afraid I have nothing good to say about this shop. Yeah, nothing special here either. good. I'm not really a customer. Nice. It is kind of weird. They have the equivalent of a gun shop. Nothing in the bag. And uh, at night I wonder if someone's prowling around on the roof. I haven't done a ton of exploring places, uh, you know, comparing day and night cycles. Um, there are lots of cool little easter eggs to find, but uh, nothing too crazy. Also, a little side note, a lot of castles are locked at night. For, I guess, the obvious reasons. Nothing new here. Really unnecessary, Maya. Do you need to level up? Yeah. Also note that we are getting pretty good experience points. Like, 112 is not bad. Alright, and we have made the long, arduous journey to Porth Trunnel. Hmm. One moment. Good work, team. And on that note... Uh, you know what? I will probably kill a little bit of time off-camera making it nighttime, just so we can explore town at night, and next time we'll check it out. I'll see you there, everybody.